Hello everybody and welcome to Declare. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you what data Facebook shares from your profiles to the advertisers and how to restrict Facebook from sharing your personal data to the advertisers. Now, I don't guarantee that 100% your data won't be shared to the advertisers or different ad agencies, but you can restrict this to some extent. So first, what we need to do is we'll check what kind of data is Facebook sharing to the other profiles. If you want, if you don't want to delete your Facebook account and also want to make sure that your data is not being shared, just do the simple steps. And to some extent, you can limit Facebook from uh, sharing your profile data or the personal data to the advertiser. So just go to the top right hand side and go to settings. Click on ads. Now the first section is your interest. If you click on interest, it will based on your likes, the pages you like, the content which you are engaged in, it will list out different sections, such as business and industry, news and entertainment, what you like in the news, what you like in business and industry, your hobbies and activities, your travels and places. So Facebook will get this data from your profile based on your likes, your pages, everything, and it will show it here. If you want this to be removed, just you can go to the, go to any section, your, close arrow will appear and you can just click on remove it will be removed the second thing is your advertisers which you have interacted with suppose if you have used your facebook account with some kind of apps or websites or the advertisers which are advertising on the youtube your details will come here the most important part is your information section in your information section you can see there are different types of personal data which Facebook is sharing to the advertisers. So you can on off this section by just toggling this switches from here. So in this way, you can restrict your personal information to be shared to the different advertising companies. Second thing here, if you see categories, now Facebook has Categorize your profiles into different, you know, these different categories based on their some algorithms. So if you see here, birthdays in January, maybe from your date of birth, then away from family, expats in India, family of expats, it will analyze or some data might be correct, some might be wrong. So if you want to remove this, you can just high, go to the high, go to the section. The, wrong mark will be highlighted just clo the close mark will be highlighted just click on close it will close then the most important and the most vulnerable uh, section here is the apps section so if you go to the settings you can go to the apps So if you are having some applications which are logged in using Facebook, you'll see the list of applications in this section. I have disabled all these applications to, to access Facebook. That's why the list is not coming here. The list, if you're having the apps which are linked with Facebook or connected with Facebook, you won't know what kind of data it is extracting from your Facebook profiles or selling it to someone else. So just you can select the application from here and click on remove. Here there is one another more important setting is the apps and websites and games which are accessing your profile. So you can go to edit and you can turn this off. So by doing this, you are disabling any website or any different apps or games websites to log in using your Facebook account. So this is the most you know important part here because as you might have heard about facebook share cambridge analytica using some kind of third-party apps to pull out the 
personal information of the Facebook. Near about 50 million Facebook users where personal identity, personal details were compromised. So this is the most important part to not allow any kind of app to access your Facebook account, which you don't know what it might do to your what kind of information it might uh, leak it to the to the other parties. So these are some of the ways which you can limit your limit Facebook from sharing your data to another to other people. I don't guarantee that 100% this will help you or this will ensure that your data might not be shared to other other people but these are some of the steps which you can do to save your uh, profile so you saw your save your data being shared to other people i hope this was informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video please leave a comment on the video please don't forget to subscribe my channel for the latest tips and tutorials on Android, Windows, Linux and much more things related to internet and technology. Once again, thanks for watching.